I've always loved writing and painting and film that uh, was really allegorical and kind of fantastic and a sense of enchantment that the world could transform in an unpredictable way. So my early influences being fairy tales and then later on becoming these really allegorical works of fiction. Uh, I think also relates to my interest in science fiction, uh, particularly early science fiction and more pulp, campy science fiction, um, which has been a counterpoint to some of the more serious things that have influenced me. And I think that um, those things are something that have really kept my interest in terms of my current work, which has to deal with the future and science fiction in particular um, in terms of film. I've been working on this series that I have started to refer to as uh, my projection series uh, for about a year now. And um, the genesis of my process actually was about three years ago. The concept behind this particular body of work uh, is film images of the apocalypse and how that really expresses cultural anxiety. Uh, it's no coincidence that this is my 2012 body of work. Basically, I've been working for the last year to intensely study and catalog as many movies about the apocalypse or post-apocalypse as I possibly could. I wanted to do all of them, but that's not possible. So uh, I have, however, gone through about a hundred films and then also I've started looking at video games and also television. The earliest film that I worked from is uh, The Deluge, which is from 1933. And so I've just been really thinking about art in terms of history and specifically how film expresses history. Uh, fictional worlds are often expressions of people processing actual events. Uh, and that's certainly been true in my own work. Um, but it's been interesting to see how that has happened through the last 80 years. So one of the things that I noticed um, going through this process of looking at decade after decade of uh, people's visions of the future, um, especially darker visions of the future, is the way in which um, those very clearly related to actual historical events. Um, I wanted to pull from as many sources as I possibly could um, because I'm trying to get at larger themes and also identify specific tropes that emerge within um, the genre of these apocalypse films. I've made 240 individual drawings and uh, then I've continued to replicate them. And so in the end, in at least some of the work, I have made an effort to remove myself. Uh, when I'm working on a body of work that is so intensely focused around a single theme, I will move back and forth between the different pieces pretty constantly, um, even within the same day, uh, but certainly in the same week. When I'm creating a body of work like that, in some ways I think of it as a single piece, even though there are many fragments in that piece, so almost like chapters in a book, um, and how the overall arc of that narrative is being expressed. The largest piece 
in my show is going to be uh, a 30 foot long wall piece, um, which is comprised of the 240 drawings that I've made and is organized um, as kind of an analysis of all the different ways that those images both connect and also fragment. Um, I was looking for both really generalized imagery that would recur again and again, but also more obscure imagery that would be specific to the particular film that it was drawn to. When you make something and you put it into the world, it takes on its own life and that's something that you can't really control. Sometimes uh, the way I think about that is that it's almost like putting a message in a bottle and throwing it out there and you just hope that someone who speaks your same language is going to pick it up. 